Hello guys, recently I found an interesting problem. I thought that not enough people understand when to use try catch. So we all know the syntax, but when in what cases we should use that. So I decided to write a tutorial on Laravel daily with practical examples and I found so many different examples that it became a very big 2000 words premium tutorial. So I will link the full tutorial in the description below for premium members. But as a part of that tutorial, I decided to shoot a separate this YouTube video about throwable. So look at the example. In this article, I list the goals, what can you accomplish in the catch section of try catch. And one of the goals may be this. Do something, perform some kind of cleanup before the actual exception is thrown on the screen or in the log or elsewhere. So what is that throwable? This example comes from the Laravel framework itself, from the view illuminate rendering the blade files and why it's not exception, catch exception. So not sure if you're aware, but in PHP there are exceptions and there are errors as well. It's actually levels of hierarchy. So you may have custom exceptions in Laravel, then Laravel has its own exceptions, then some exceptions come from Symfony, for example, or other packages, then there are PHP exceptions, but then also there are PHP errors. For example, division by zero or other mathematical errors, wrong argument count for function, whatever the framework you use, Laravel or Symfony or whatever this is, error kind of during the compilation of PHP code. So in the documentation of PHP, you may find error class. And here on the sidebar, you can see the list of potential errors. So if you want to use try catch with those, you may also use them specifically like this. This is another example from the same article, validation of enum, it's try catch, but catching type error. So Laravel validation rule is trying to evaluate the enum, but if it fails, there's type error, and then we return false that the value isn't a valid enum. But if we go back to the throwable example, throwable is an interface that is a parent thing for both exceptions and errors. So if you don't know which may happen, it may throw an exception, but it may also throw a PHP error. One of those that I've listed above, then a better solution, kind of the ultimate solution umbrella for both exceptions and errors is throwable. If you go to Laravel framework, GitHub and search for throwable, it is used quite a lot in the framework. So if we go down, here's an example of catch throwable in the PHP engine, another example of catch throwable in exceptions with Redis and so on. So yeah, if you want to catch both exceptions and errors, you may want to use throwable. And again, I will link the full article of try catch practical examples in the description below. It is available for premium members of Laravel daily, but by becoming a premium member or being a premium member, you also support this YouTube channel. Then I can spend more time I'm not on marketing Laravel daily, but on creating free content here on YouTube. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.